Baltimore County Police tell us they arrested three suspects they believe are responsible for several burglaries at stores. Police share this information with us after we asked them about an attempted ATM theft overnight. Suspects broke into a Dunkin' Donuts in Canton and tried to steal an ATM there. WJC is live right now. Avajori Burnett is at Baltimore City Police Headquarters. And Avajori, we've been following these stories for months. And what do police have to say about this most recent crime? Well, Vic, let's start out in Baltimore County. Police there are saying they arrested three suspects who they believe may be connected to multiple commercial burglaries. Here in Baltimore City, police say they're working with the county to figure out if there is a connection. Now, all of this is playing out as there were two other crimes involving ATMs overnight. There is an attempted ATM theft in Canton at a Dunkin' there. And then about three hours later, there was a case where thieves were actually successful in stealing an ATM in Fells Point. These are the images you've gotten accustomed to in the Baltimore region. Criminals ramming into, driving into, or maybe even running into stores and then finding a way to rip out ATMs. This has happened at least 15 times in the last four months. And WJZ has learned there were two more crimes involving ATMs Tuesday night. The first at the Duncan in Canton off Boston Street. Oh, it's becoming danger down here because every day something up. But we were able to get our hands on this video. Even though it's not the best quality, it appears to show people smashing the glass sometime after 3 a.m. to get inside the store. And they go into the Dunkin' doors. We've also learned that the suspects tried but failed to break open the ATM, but they were able to use a crowbar to get into the cash register. Around three hours later, police tell WJZ these went into the corner store of Alisana Street in Fells Point, and that time they were able to get away with the ATM. Baltimore County Police said they arrested three suspects in Baltimore City when Wednesday morning, and they're tied to multiple commercial burglaries. Police have struggled to keep up. Detectives sometimes find empty ATMs in vacant lots after the suspects vanished without a trace. Why is it so hard to catch these people? Well, as you can see, you know, I've seen the reporting. They're wearing masks, they're wearing gloves, they're using cars that are stolen. Uh, and it, it's really hard to catch them. Do you believe it's the same group of people or is it a copycat situation? I think there are multiple groups. As for the latest attempt, a worker was supposed to be at this Dunkin' Tuesday night, but a colleague told us she was working at another location. I just think it's terrible that people are, you know, that they're, they're brazen enough to take a whole machine out of a, out of a restaurant or a, it's just crazy. So Baltimore City Police once again are saying they're working with the county to see if there is a connection here. But earlier today, the commissioner told me that he wants for people to step up and say something if they know something. Live at 6, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.